We had a few isolated storms roll through this morning, but we'll catch a break for the next several hours. It's really not until later this evening that our next round of storms rolls through, and this one has the better chance to contain some scattered strong to severe thunderstorms. This is the Storm Prediction Center severe weather outlook for today, and they do still have areas far off to our north and west through Pennsylvania and upstate New York, targeted as the greatest concern for severe weather today. But new this morning, they've now included most of our area under that slight risk. All of the areas you see shaded there in yellow. The farther south you go down through parts of Culpeper and Fredericksburg over towards Patuxent River, a slightly lower chance for severe weather, but pretty much everyone at an equal risk to see a strong and possibly severe thunderstorm this afternoon. They will be very scattered. Not everyone will see a storm, but where they fire up, they could be on the stronger side. This is also new today. The Storm Prediction Center now has areas to the north and west of DC, Westminster, Frederick over towards Romney and Cumberland under a 5% chance for isolated tornadoes. And I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it is, and it's pretty rare to see. So we'll be on the lookout for any of these storms that develop this afternoon and evening to have a little spin, a little rotation that could potentially lead to an isolated tornado. Elsewhere, we have a 2% chance for isolated tornadoes, which is still worth monitoring. Here's a look at that cape we were talking about yesterday, the convective available potential energy, the amount of instability in the atmosphere and it will continue to increase as we head throughout the afternoon as it does every single day. You get the heating of the day. The atmosphere destabilizes, but I do like the way it paints the picture that areas to the west of I-95 where the humidity will be the highest, where we'll have really warm temperatures by the afternoon. That's where we'll have the greatest instability and the best potential for these storms to really evolve as we head throughout the afternoon and into the Thursday evening hour. So let's time it out here using Futurecast. This is 2 p.m. I do think we we have several more dry hours before the storms start to develop really during the evening commute. This is 4 p.m. And again, I do think they will be very scattered. I think a lot of folks will stay dry as we head through the later afternoon and early evening hours. This is 6 p.m. A few more storms starting to develop and this model in particular keeps us dry for the rest of the day. Some of our other computer models bring in another round of storms after around 8, 9 o'clock and clear them out by midnight. So here's a look at that computer model. This is 7 p.m. Storms starting to cross from Pennsylvania into northern and western Maryland, eventually into northern Virginia. This is 9 p.m. I think this looks a little overdone, but I do think we could see that second round of storms later tonight. The good news is once the sun sets, we really start to stabilize the atmosphere. We lose some of that heating of the day and thankfully once we see that first round of storms roll through as well that will also wipe out some of that cape some of that energy that these storms will have to work with so I think the greater threat for severe weather is going to be between about 4 and 7 p.m. but we won't rule out a few stronger storms as we head throughout the later evening hours as well by the time you're checking in with topper at 11 o'clock tonight I do think the storms will be out of here and we'll see blue skies return for your Friday forecast but if you are heading out to the Nats game tonight that first pitch at 7.05 against the Phils. I do think you're going to have to watch the storm chance as we head throughout the second half of the day. I do think they will see a rain delay at some point. And again, if you do hear thunder and lightning, seek shelter if you are at the game, please. It will be warm as well. Temperatures in the mid 80s. Once we get past the storm threat today, we finally start to catch a break. Tomorrow we do still have a really low chance for a scattered shower, maybe a thunderstorm. And that's just because it is going to be so hot and humid for your Friday forecast. We can't rule out a summertime thunderstorm popping up, but they would be very isolated. And I think everyone stays dry as we head throughout Friday. And then the weekend looks spectacular for any Father's Day plans. If you're heading out to something in the water as we head towards uh, Monday, Juneteenth as well, the forecast remains very nice. So tomorrow it is hot. Thankfully, it's not super humid, but dew points will still be in the mid to low 60s, and it doesn't take much to make it feel warmer than it actually is. So we might see a few heat advisories issued as we head toward Friday. Could also see a new record. The record only stands at 97 degrees at Reagan National. We're forecasting 96. I think we might be a little bit higher than that, but then cooler temperatures return for the weekend. 76 on Saturday after starting off in the 50s. It's going to be breezy as well, so definitely a cooler feel to the weekend. We'll be up to 80 on Monday, 82 or 80 on Sunday 82 rather on Monday. So here's a look at the full seven day forecast that yellow weather alert for storms rolling through this evening. Tomorrow it is hot, thankfully not super humid, but still need to be careful for any outdoor plans. The weekend much cooler. Great forecast for dad on Father's Day. Juneteenth looks really nice as well. 82 with 
sunshine, and then we start to warm things right back up towards Tuesday of next week. 87 degrees, low risk for a scattered storm. Our better chance for storminess will be by Wednesday evening.